tiempo mi madrastra trajo al mundo un varón que era mi hermano. Yo era nieto de mi mujer. De manera que yo era abuelo de mi hermano. Con el correr del tiempo que me trajo al mundo un varón. Y como era hermano de mi madre, era cuñado de mi padre y tío de su hijo. Mi mujer era suegra de su hija. Yo en cambio soy padre de mi madre. Y mi padre y su mujer son mis hijos. Además, yo soy mi propio abuelo. Señor juez. Good evening, Enrique. How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm great. Okay, very good. What, what happened to you yesterday? Uh, I don't know what was the problem, okay? I really don't know. Okay. I just, they just told me, okay, listen, uh, we're going to have a pause on Monday. And uh, we already told the students. They told me, okay, so fine. Oh, okay. We place that on Monday 29. I think that is uh, Lunes Santo, right? I think. Okay, so that day we're going to be uh, uh, replacing. But... About yesterday it was great because I rest. <laughs> <coughs> Why? Because you rested. Yes. Okay, that is good. That is good. <laughs> so. So you so very good. Eh. It was okay to have that day of uh, the day off. <laughs> yeah, the day off because it's kind of tiring, you know, for me. Yes. Because after we finish, after we finish, I have to let soon uh, convert the video, and that takes like oh, yeah. thirty to forty-five minutes, sometimes longer. And after that, we have to upload it to to upload YouTube. It to uh -huh. So sometimes I go to sleep at, at midnight. And you work only for English Corporation? Or for no, 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 no. I have uh, like six or seven providers. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I on this schedule, I have told English Corporation that I wasn't going to work anymore because it's very tiring. But I don't know what happened to uh, to the teacher. And they called me and I told him, no, I don't want to. And they say, hey, but you know, we don't have anybody else. Okay, I will okay. help you this time. English Corporativo has been oh. really nice. They have been really nice. So that's why I accepted to do it this time, okay? Okay. But it's very tiring for me. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good evening, Cristina. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. At least recuperated. Okay. Qué bueno. <laughs> how, about you? <laughs> <laughs> how about you? How about you? How was your long weekend? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple more minutes to start, okay? Ah, uh, let me see, Cristina...
Cristina, what happened with the midterm? You have done only 25%. You have to complete it, Cristina. En serio, no, pero si lo completé. No, aquí me aparece. Ok, let me show you, ok. Ok, entonces lo reviso al final, pero sí, me recuerdo que sí lo había completado. No. Can you see right here, Cristina? Midterm. Sí. You only completed 25%. Okay. So you need to you need to finish it. Okay. Okay. So okay. you will be okay. There are some others like Karen that still hasn't done it either. Okay. Okay, good evening. I don't remember who was this. Redinsa? I think this is Sochil. Good evening, Redinsa. Three, let's see, fifty-eight. Two more minutes. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Si en yeah. algún determinado momento me llegara a salir de la clase, me va a disculpar, pero tengo un gran, un fuerte dolor de espalda, entonces no puedo estar mucho tiempo. Sentada. Así Bien, que, se, si no participa. Se puede poner de pie, no hay problema. Ok. Hey, acuérdense de los minutos. Vayan contando sus minutos. Okay. Porque a pesar, sí, sí, sí. yo como les decía la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Eh, aunque haya completado toda la plataforma y tenga hasta 100%, pero si no tiene los minutos el 80% de los minutos este Insafor no le va a reconocer eh, de que usted pase a básico 2 así que ojo con, con los okay, minutos teacher. asegúrese de que okay. tengamos el número el 80% de los minutos eh, cubiertos ok Good evening, um, Oscar. How are you today, tonight? Hello, good evening, Oscar. How are you tonight? I'm fine, I'm fine. You, teacher? I am fine. You? Very rested. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Jacqueline. How are you tonight, Jacqueline? Good evening, Radinsa. Ah, let me see. Ah, okay. Good evening, Delia. How are you tonight? Good evening. I'm fine. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. Good evening, Radinsa. Good evening. <laughs> okay. Uh, Delia. Delia. Uh, Buenas noches. Uh, 
¿Cuántas faltas hemos tenido, Delia? Tú. Vaya, pero fíjese bien, Delia. Ok, déjeme explicarle. Ok, este... Insafor está contando los minutos que pertenece... Que, que, per, que, que nos mantenemos en la plataforma de Zoom. Eso quiere decir que ellos le van a, le van a reconocer su certificado si usted tiene el 80% o más de los minutos, de los minutos, no de los días, no de los días, sino que de los minutos. En su caso, si yo fuera usted, ya no me perdería ningún, ningún día. ¿De acuerdo? Para que yo no eh, ponga en peligro que no pueda ser promovido a, a Básico 2. ¿De acuerdo? Vaya. Por otro lado, eh, quiero mostrarles... Ok, esta es... Quiero ver, vamos a ver, Delia. Eh, tiene que completar la tarea. La tarea 2 ya la terminó. Y el midterm, ah, no, la tarea, sí, la tarea 2 ya la completó, ya la completó, Delia, pero necesito trabajar en el examen midterm, ¿ok? Y Cristina necesita eh, terminar el examen, ¿ok? Y Delia necesita okay, completar okay. ese examen, ¿ok? Si pueden hacerlo en el transcurso de esta noche o mañana, para que amanezcamos ya tranquilos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, bien. Ok. Excelente. Good evening, Cesar. How are you? Good evening, uh, Bessie. How are you today? Vaya, en el caso de Bessie... En el caso de Bessi, necesito también terminar el examen, Bessi. ¿Ok? Lo hemos dejado a la mitad. Tenemos que terminarlo, Bessi, para que ya solo nos concentremos. Acuérdense, a partir de ahora ya podemos hacer la tarea 11, la 12, la 13, la 14 y la 15. ¿Ok? Así que... Por favor, pónganse las pilas para que vayamos al día. ¿De acuerdo? Bien. Ok. Uh, ok, excelente. Bien. Vamos a, a proseguir con el libro. Ok. This week we are going to start unit number three. The name of this unit is Where do you work? So we will be able to describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. Okay, in order to do that, what are the departments that your company has? Okay, and I want you that everybody start telling me, what departments do you have in your company? Can you tell me? Number one, What departments are there in your company? Administration. Human resources. Okay. The administration. Okay, very good. What else? Number two. Human resources. Human, uh, human resources. Human resources. Okay. What else? What other department? Huh? Customer service. Excellent. Customer service. Very good. What else? What other departments do we have? Operations. Operations. Okay. Operations. Very good. What else? Uh huh. Maintenance. Maintenance. Very good. Maintenance. 
Maintain, main, maintenance. Okay, very good. Maintenance. What else? Marketing. Huh? Mercadeo, marketing. Ah, okay. That is uh, marketing. What else? Floor manager. Huh? Floor manager. Floor. Yes. Floor manager. Can you spell it, please? F L O O R. F. Ah, floor yeah. manager. Yeah. Ah, production. Okay, that is production. Okay. Production. Okay, production. Very good. Another department? Financial. Okay, the fina finances. Financial. The financial department, what else? Think, think, what other departments? What about the legal department? Uh, Gerencia. Okay, but that is the administration, right? Management, management goes in administration. Uh huh. What other department do we have in your company? In some case, security. Ah, okay, very good. Number 10, security. What else? What other department is there in your place, in your workplace? Accounting. Very good. Number 11, accounting. Accounting, very good. And accounting also belongs to the administration. Okay, and we have, uh, sometimes we have, uh, how you call this, a import and export department, okay? Import and export department, that they also belong to the administration. No, Okay, they belong to the administration. Okay, very good. Okay, sure. that is enough. Excellent. So now we are going to come back. Now we're gonna go back to the book. Okay, now brainstorm about the departments in your, in your workplace. Where do you belong to? What do you do? These questions, you are going to answer them in pairs. Where do you belong to and what do you do in your department? Is that clear? Okay, so I will give you just five minutes to do this, okay? Let me see how many are we. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna place you in trios, okay? And you are going to tell each other what department you belong to. Ustedes le van a decir a su compañero, o le van a preguntar, what department do you belong to? And you are going to tell them three things that you do in your department. Is that clear? Okay, in trios. Here we go. So we're going to create five trios. Okay, there you go. Enrique, Karen, and Socio, go to room number one. Cesar, Sandra, and Jeannie, go to room number two. 
Bessie, Oscar, and Roberto go to room number three. Delia, Francisco, and Mario go to room number four. Cristina, Catherine, and Jacqueline go to room number five, please. Okay, Catherine, room number five. Oscar Arnulfo, room number three. Jeannie, okay, very good. Mario, go to room number four. Catherine, room number five, please. Mario, go to room number four. Jacqueline, go to room number five, please. Mario, Mario, go to room number four, please. Excellent. Mando muchas energías. Ay, muchas gracias, que las necesito. Talking uh, Spanish, ah, uh, why? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's see, Catherine, what department do you belong to? I. I belong to. Ah, uh, okay. I belong to a quality department. Ah, the quality control department. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, the quality very good. Control department. In this department, uh, we uh, revisar teacher. We check. Ah, uh, we check the production and the operation. Operation in my uh, company is operation. Okay, well, that is called inline inline inspection. Ah, okay. Inline inspection. Then you have a one hundred percent inspection. That is when the product is uh, coming out of the line, and then audits. You understand audits? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Okay, very good. So, Jacqueline, what department do you belong to? I belong to department in accounting. Accounting department, okay. What do you do in the accounting department? Um, write report. Write reports? What else? Um, Do you prepare the the financial statement? Financial statement is el balance general. Financial statement. No. Do you do you have to work with the cash flow? Con la caja chica. Yes. Okay, so that is cash flow. Okay, very good, Chris. Cash flow, like this. Uh, whoops, whoops, right here. That is called cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow, caja chica, okay? And the other one that I told you is the uh, financial statement. Financial statement. Este es el balance general. Okay.
Okay, very good. Now, Cristina, what, what department do you belong to? I belong to department administration. To the administration department. Okay, can you tell us what do you do? And um, cash flow, manejo de caja chica se, sería okay. cash, cash, flow, cash flow management. Cash flow management. Uh -huh. and, uh, what else? Management and expedientes de pacientes. Ah, okay, but that is different. Okay, that is uh, a, a, a file department. File. Uh huh. A patients filing. Patients filing. Okay. A archivo de pacientes. Okay. okay. Patients filing. Okay, very good. Very good, girls. Okay, let me bring everybody back. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, a few of you are here already. Okay, very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, vaya. Eh, antes, de, antes de que se me olvide, okay, quiero que quiero compartirles esto, verdad? Eh, Ok, Bessie tiene que terminar el examen midterm. Cristina también tiene que terminar. Eh, Delia tiene que, tiene que hacer el examen midterm. Vamos a ver. Francisco, estamos bien con Francisco. Eh, Jeremías, estamos bien con Jeremías. Eh, Karen, Karen tiene que terminar la tarea, las, eh, las actividades de las tareas de la segunda semana de la unidad 2 y también tiene que hacer el examen para ponerse al día. Ok, Karen. Ok, teacher. Eh, Katherine, estamos bien. Mario, estamos bien. Eh, Oscar Arnulfo, estamos bien. Ramón, no sé si está Ramón por ahí. Ramón tiene que hacer las tareas de la semana de la unidad 2 y tiene que hacer también el midterm. Ok. Roberto Antonio está bien. Ok, vamos a seguir. Ok, vamos a ver. Sandra tiene que. Hacer el examen midterm, por favor. Susana, no sé si está aquí Susana, el día de ahora tiene que terminar la unidad 2 y el examen. Xochitl tiene que terminar el examen, lo dejó el 25%. Jacqueline tiene que hacer el examen también. Y Jenny tiene que terminar el examen midterm, ¿verdad? Por favor. Para que solo nos quedemos con las tareas de esta unidad, de la unidad 3, y vayamos haciendo una por día. ¿Ok? Bien. Ok. Excellent. Now, let's get into, uh, into the book. ¿Ok? We said, listen to your teacher, read the following departments in a company, then match them with the activities they perform. Quiero ver, okay, I'm gonna make this a little smaller so you can see it, okay? Let me move this this way. Okay, so research and identify what customers want 
in need at the right place. What department does this? Research, investiga, and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Marketing. 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 Okay. Now, recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Human resource management. Uh, human resources management. Very good. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Accounting, Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Finance. Fine. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Production. Uh -huh. Control and supervise the production, production, workforce, and inventory production. That is correct. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Marketing, share, and no. development. Uh -huh. Research, 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 and development. And development, that is correct. Buy and acquire raw materials, production, equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Purchasing. 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 Okay. So, very Purchasing. good. Purchasing. Now, very good. Repeat after me. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Okay. Very good. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Very good. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Keep the financial Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. Okay, buy and buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Buy Okay, very good. Now, let me check your attendance, okay? So I'm gonna... I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to... And I'm going to check the attendance, okay? Okay, Bessie Stephanie Mendez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Andres Ramos Galicia. Cesar Eduardo Alfaro Parada. Present. Thank you. Cristina Marisol Garcia Argueta. Cristina. Ah, okay, very good. Delia Noemi Valiente. Present. Thank you. Enrique Américo Molina Barraza. Present. Eh, Francisco Edgardo Méndez Coreas. Present. Thank you. 
Eh, Jeremías Adonai Miranda. Jeremías Adonai Miranda. Karen Yesenia López Martínez. Present. Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Mario Mauricio Montano Molina. Thank you. Eh, Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Present. Ah, Ramón is here. Roberto Antonio Ortiz Reyes. Sandra Marisela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Ochil Eneida Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Present. Jenny Zuleima Santo Chávez. Present. Thank you. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So let's continue. Now. Explain to a partner what activities you and your co-worker do in your department. I think we already did that. Okay, now listen to a person talk about her daily routine and complete the exercises. Okay, so let me take you here. I'm going to share with you. In la pantalla, teacher. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not sharing. I'm sorry. Okay. So... Listen to a person talk about her daily routine and complete the exercises. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So this is the exercise. Okay. Describing daily routines. Listen to the audio file. Then match the times with the actions using and drag and drop. Okay. Now. You're going to tell me on Monday which of these activities she does on Monday. Go out to clubs, business meeting, visit parents, work late, meet my, meet my friend Bill, go to the gym, relax at home. Are you ready? So you're going to tell me what she does on Monday, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday morning, on Thursday night, on Friday night, on Saturday, and on Sunday. Listen carefully. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Was that clear, or you want me to play it again? Okay. okay, here we go. Listen. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, what does she do on Monday? Go out to clothes. No. Work late. Uh -huh. On Monday, she works late. What does she do on Tuesday afternoon? Business meeting. On Thursday afternoon. Business meeting. Are you sure? Listen. Friend ball. Afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay, listen. On Tuesday afternoon, listen. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. 
On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. So what does she do on Tuesday afternoon? Meet my friend, Bully. Uh-huh, she means her friend, her oh. friend, Bill. Her friend. Uh-huh, now what does she do on Wednesday morning? Visit my meeting. Uh huh. She has a business meeting. Okay. What does she do on Thursday night? Go to club. Relax at home. Uh huh. She relaxes at home. What does she do on Friday night? Go out to club. Go out. Go out clubbing. She says she go out to club. What does she do on Saturday? Go to the gym. Go to the gym. She goes to the gym. And what does she do on she Sunday? She visits her parents. Her parents. Okay, now. Check. Very good. An applause, guys. Very good. Very good. Okay, now. Let's see if I have the... In this one, I don't have the, I don't have the script, okay? But listen again, check again. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, very good. So I'm going to finish that. Now here, listening skills, practice, interview with a swimmer. Check your understanding, true or false, okay? So you're gonna tell me whether it's true or it's false. Uh, where is? Here we go, listen. Dad? Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at 5 o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You get up at 5 o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at 8 o'clock, I have a shower, I get dressed, and I have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs, and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science, and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at the cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 7 o'clock. Then I go to TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. Okay, now. If others like it, it's www.britishcouncil.org. Okay, let's see. Dan gets up early, true or false? True. True. true, very good, true. He has a small breakfast? Oh. False. False. He says that he has a big breakfast, right? He is a student? Yes. True or false? True. 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 Dan has lunch at home? <laughs> You don't remember? Okay, listen again. Hello, Dan. Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. 
What time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yes. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower, I get dressed and I have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? No, at 11 o'clock, I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at the cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner. Okay, so Dan has lunch at home? True or false? False. 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 He has lunch at the university. He goes swimming after classes? True or false? False. 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 That is correct. Dan watches TV and goes on the internet before bed? False. Huh? Are you sure? At seven o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at ten o'clock. So Dan watches TV and goes on the internet before bed? Yes, true. 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 Okay. True. Now check your understanding, gap feel. Okay. Do this exercise while you listen. Fill in the gaps with an activity from the box to complete dance diary. At 5 a.m., what happens at 5 a.m.? Get out. Get up. Get uh, up. Okay, so he gets up at 5 a.m. What does he do at 6 a.m.? Uh, breakfast. No, at 6 a.m. He goes to the pool. Uh -huh. He goes swimming at 6 a.m., right? What does he do at 8 a.m.? Have breakfast. Okay, at 8 a.m. he has breakfast. What does he do at 11 a.m.? Go to the university. Ah, he goes to the university. What does he do at 2 p.m.? Have a lunch. Lunch. He has he has lunch. Remember? He has lunch. Uh -huh. What does he do at five p.m.? Meet friends. Meet friends. Meet friends. Meet friends. And what does he do at seven p.m.? Have dinner. Have dinner. Okay. Very good. Now, let me see. So perfect. Very good. Okay. Now. Let's go back to the book, okay? And on the book, that, that this is what we have. Where do you work? How to use simple present information questions. What do I do? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Questions about pronunciation or about vocabulary? No questions? Okay, now, what do I do? ¿Qué es lo que yo hago? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do you when do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's need. 
What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, repeat after me. What do I do? What do, what I, do, I, do, I, do? I do? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. I work, I work in the accounting department. When do we go to the meetings? When, when do we go to the meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. We, we go, go to the meetings. meetings. How do they plan the marketing? Uh, How do they, they plan the marketing? marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. They, they investigate the customer's needs. Uh, what time do you take breakfast? What time, what time do, do you take, take breakfast? Take breakfast at 8 a.m. I take breakfast at 8 a.m. I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let me let me go and get get this for you. Do you remember the last? Okay, let me share with you, okay? Uh, today I sent you, do you remember that we had this? Okay, I don't remember if we finished all of this. For example, we were up to here, form questions. Okay, now, uh, what is the question number one? Do you remember? Where does he go? Uh -huh. Where, Where does he live? Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Jenny, what is number two? Does Frank read comics? Does Frank read comics? Very good. Okay, what is the next one, Sochil? Okay, Sochil, with this one, I'm going to do it. Can Ron speak English? Speak English, very good, excellent. Can Ron speak English? Okay, very good. The next one, Sandra. Do you speak any Roma language? Do you speak any, any Roman language? Okay, very good. The next one, Roger is the subject. Okay. Uh, let me see who is next. Uh, Caesar. Roger. Who? Roger. No, uh huh. What is the auxiliary for Roger? Does. Does, right? Who does Roger help in the shopping? Uh -huh. Who does Roger help in the shop? Okay. The next one, Catherine. That's Do pardon. you parents wait up for you wait up for you 
Do your parents wait up for you? Very good. The next one. Where? Where? Do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Okay, the next one. Uh, Cristina? What do you do? What do you do? Excellent. Uh -huh. The next one, Jacqueline? Where does John come from? Where does John come from? Very good. Okay, the next one. Uh, Delia, what is the next question? I'm not, I'm not sure, but I tried. Okay. Does it take from London to Paris? Does it take from London to Paris? Excellent. Okay, very good. The next one. So chill. What is the next one? So chill. Oh, How often? That she. Often. They go to the. Uh -huh. How often? And this is the subject. She. What is the auxiliary? That. Uh -huh. How often does she go to cinema? Okay, how often does she go to the cinema? Very good. The next one, uh, Enrique. How many? how many children do you have? How many children do you have? Okay. Very good. The next one, eh, Mario. When do you get up? When do you get up? When do you get up? Very good. The next one, eh, Ramon. How often do you study English? How often? Do you study English? Ramon, Ramon, how often? Do you study English? We cannot hear you, Ramon. Maybe uh, more volume. Tal vez si le aumenta el volumen. Aha, so how often? How often do you study English? How often do you study English? Very good. How often do you study English? Okay. Let me just see something. Okay. Very good. Okay. The next one, Oscar Arnulfo. Mm, what time? Does the film start? Does the film start? Very good. What time does the film start? Uh, cutting. What's the next one, cutting? Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Okay, very good. The next one, Delia. What does Lucy No, what, what? Lucy? What sports? Does Lucy like? Does Lucy like? What sports does Lucy like? Very good, uh, here. 
That's Lucy like. Okay. The next one, Ginny. How, how do they get to work? How do they get to work? Very good. The next one, Enrique. We can't how hear you, often, Enrique. How often? How often do you study English? Ah, uh, no. How often do? You study English? No. How often? How often do I? How often? Yes, do I? Do I? I study English. No, how often do I? Come here. Ah, sorry, I was reading the, the document. <laughs> uh, how often do I come here? Okay, very good. Okay, I was reading the document that you sent last time. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. How often do I come here? Okay, very good. The next one, eh, Sandra? Where does she live? Where does she live? Okay, where does she live? Okay, the next one, eh, Oscar Arnulfo? Why do you eat so much chocolate? Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Bessie. What does this machine do? What does this machine what does this machine do very good okay mario the next one please who who does she miss on saturday who does she meet on saturdays okay very good okay the next one Jeannie. How many brothers does she have? How many brothers does, does she, she have? Very good, excellent. The next one, Karen. How much is this cost? No, how much? This cost. Best. Oh. How much? Now, it, this, this is singular, is it. What is the auxiliary? Do or does? Does. So, how much does this, this cost. cost? Okay, how much does this cost? Okay, very good. The next one, Francisco. What is the next one, Francisco? Where do you do eat lunch? Again, again, where do you uh -huh. eat lunch? Uh -huh. Where do you eat lunch? Very good. Now, let's finish this, this part, okay? So, fill in the correct bar forms. The girls... Uh -huh, let me see, uh, Ramon, what can you say? The girls, las niñas o las muchachas hacen las compras. The girls is... The girls... Go shopping. No, no go, no go the shopping. Us. Uh -huh, the girls 
Dulu, the shopping. Uh -huh. Now, do you? Drink. Let's see. Uh -huh. drink. Do you? Drink. Drink. Uh -huh. Do you drink? Or do you put? Or do you put milk in your tea? Okay, very good, Roberto. John often play soccer. Play soccer. Uh -huh. John often play soccer. Now, Just negate the often. sentences. Steve can make breakfast. I'm going to do this one. Steve can make breakfast. Go. Okay, now very good. Breakfast. Teacher. Yes, sir. ¿Qué significa open? Open es a menudo. A menudo. Okay, so John a menudo juega soccer. soccer. Okay, now what is the negative for this one? The children. Let's That's see, Ramon, no, the children. No, 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 because it's plural. The children, los niños. It's not the child. Doesn't know. No, 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 don't. That is correct. Don't know the answer. Uh, don't know the answer. Remember, the children is plural. Is they don't know the answer. Very good. Okay, Mister Smith teaches French. What is the negative? Mister Smith. Mister Smith. Mr. Smith. French. 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 Okay, very good. Doesn't teach French. Excellent. The banks close at two o'clock. The banks don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Don't close. The banks don't. Okay, uh, o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay, they hate fish. They, they don't, doesn't they eat they don't fish. fish. Uh -huh. They don't, 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 don't fish. hate fish. fish. Okay, very good. The next, the sun goes around the earth. The sun, 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 the I like cycling because it's fun. What is the question? I like. No, remember the I, the answer is cycling. Ah. Why do you like cycling? Why? Yeah, why? Does. Why? Do you like? Why do you like? Cycling, well, cycling. Why do you like cycling? Okay, next. Lisa talks about Danny. Who? 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 Lisa. Who does Lisa? Lisa. Talk about. Who does Lisa talk about? Lisa talks about Danny. The child plays the trumpet. So this is the underline. 
work. So what is the question? What, what, what does, does play ch the child? Play what does? What does play. the child, remember? Play. What does the child play? play? Very good, very good. Okay, now, here in this one, use the correct question word, who, what, where, when, why, how many, and the simple present tense to make information questions. The underlying words are the answers to the question. So here is Main Street. Okay, Main Street. So what is the question? Where does he live? Where does he live? Where does he live? Okay, Maybe. now on this one, I want you, everybody has this, has this, uh, has this uh, a document? Todos tienen este documento? Yes, we have. Quiero oírlo, quiero ver lo que me digan. Okay, all of you have that document? No. Cristina, do you have that document? You can in, in your cell phone. Jacqueline, do you have this document? In my cell phone. In your cell phone. Oscar? Yes, I have the document. Okay, Jeannie? In my cell phone, teacher. In your cell phone. Sochil? Hello, Sochil. Okay, very good. Enrique? Yes, I have it. Sandra? In my cell phone. In your cell phone. Mario? What is the question? Do you have this document? Do you have this document that I uh, sent to the WhatsApp group? In my cell phone. In your cell phone. Okay, very good. Now, the next one is uh, Catherine. Do you have it? Yes, teacher. Bessie? Yes, in my cell phone. Okay, Delia? Yes, I have it in my cell phone. Okay, Karen? Yes, teacher, I have it, but in my cell phone. Okay, Roberto Antonio? Yes, coach, I have it in my cell phone. Okay, very good. And Francisco? In your cell phone. Okay, now, one at a time, one at a time, I want you to ask this question, okay? For example, uh, I'm going to put you in pairs. Lo voy a poner en parejas. So, number one, you do the same thing. Okay. Now, uh, they have three children. So, this is the on the line. Three children. Uh, he speaks four languages. Okay. That is the on the line. She lives with her roommate. Okay. Her roommate, that is the on the line. They eat lunch in the cafeteria every day. So that is the on the line. I go to bed at 11 o'clock. So that is the on the line. She doesn't want to go to a movie because she's very tired. Because she's very tired. That is the on the line expression. They eat eggs for breakfast. So, eggs is the underlying expression. Is that clear? Okay, now, working pairs and one at a time, uno a la vez, is going to make the question. When you finish, we are going to check it here. Is that clear? Okay, so. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Ese es el archivo que mandó usted hoy en la tarde, pero no. a mí no me aparece completo. No, no, no. Este archivo es otro. Este archivo lo había mandado ya antes. Ok. Ok. El que mandé ahora es este. Se lo voy a compartir. Eh, aquí. No. 
Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me see where I have it. I have it right here somewhere. Okay, el nuevo, aquí está. Hold on, hold on. Uh, el nuevo se llama Question Words. Es este. Este es el que mandé ahora. Este. Que vamos a hacer al terminar este otro. Primero vamos a terminar este y ahí nos vamos a meter a este. ¿Ok? So. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? No tienen el otro. No tienen el ejercicio. ¿Cómo se llama el documento, teacher? Se llama Simple Present. Se llama Simple Present Questions. Ah, ok. Gracias. Este se llama Simple Present Questions. Justamente el 11 de marzo lo envió en WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? El 11. Sí, eso es jueves. Sí, jueves. Thursday. Ok. So, are you ready? Sí. Ok, very good. Ok, so let's get into this. Ok. Uh, in pairs. Okay, let me create again a pairs. No, seven, seven pairs. Okay, Mario and Sochil go to room number one. Catherine and Ginny go to room number two. Delia and Oscar, room number three. Roberto and Jacqueline, room number four. Karen and Sandra, room number five. Desi and Francisco, room number seven. Cristina and Enrique go to room number seven. Okay, Desi and Francisco, room number six. Okay, Sandra, room number five. Roberto Antonio, room number four. Sandra, room number five, please. Roberto, room number four, please. Catherine, room number two. Catherine, room number two. Very good. Sandra, room number five, please. Sandra San, okay, very good.
Jeldas. Let me let me share my screen with you. Okay, so we are with this document right here. Okay, so what number are you doing? One. What, number one, okay. They have three children. So what is the question? The answer is three children. What is the question? How many? How many? Two? No, how many? How many? Cuantos niños? Uh -huh. How many children? Do they? Do they? Have. Exactly. How many children do they have? Very good. Now, let's see. This one, her roommate. What is the question? The answer is her roommate. Where? No, no where. Porque es con su compañera de cuarto. Who? Who, exactly, who? What is the subject? The subject is she. So what is the auxiliary? Who does she? Who does she live she? with? Who does she live with? Con quien vive ella? She lives with her roommate. Okay, very good. Okay. Every day is the is the answer. What is the question? Every day. When? Exactly when? When? When do they? Mm -hmm. When do they? It lunch. In the cafeteria. Okay, in the cafeteria. Very good. When do they eat lunch in the cafeteria? Excellent. Okay, now this asks for clock time. So what is the question? What? What? What, what, what? What time? Uh-huh, what time? Do. Do? Do, do I? I? Do? Okay, do I? Do I? Go, go to bed. To bed okay, every night. Okay, now also we can ask the question here. You, right? Instead of I, you can say you. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 11. Okay, I go to bed at 11. Okay, now the next one, okay. This one, they eat eggs for breakfast every day. So what is the question? What? What? What do they... Do they eat? What do they eat? Eggs. No, because the answer is egg. For bread. Uh huh. For, bread. for breakfast, exactly. What do they eat for breakfast? Uh huh. The answer is 
They eat eggs for breakfast every day. Ah, and here, every day. What do they eat for breakfast every day? Eggs. Ah, and we have this other one, I'm sorry. He wants a steak for dinner. Steak. Do you know what is the meaning of steak? Carne. Steak filete. filete. Okay, he wants a steak for dinner. What is the question? What do... What? What does... What does... What does what? He want... What does he... He want... Uh -huh. For dinner. For dinner. What does he want for dinner? Steak. He wants a steak for dinner. Okay, he wants a steak for dinner. Okay, and now do this one. Remember, the answer is because. What is the question? Why? Why? Why she does? No, why doesn't she? Doesn't. Why doesn't she? Uh -huh. Why doesn't she? Want. want to go a movie? Want to go to a movie. Why doesn't she want to go to a movie? Because she is very tired. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to practice more. I have more questions. Don't worry about it. Okay? Okay. okay. Let me... Let me bring you back. I'm going to bring back everybody. Teacher, your speaker phone. Okay. Now let me get to this. Okay, very good, guys. Now, let me, now I'm going to share with you. Okay. Now, let me share with you this, okay? Okay, let's see. He lives in an apartment on Main Street. Where does he live? Where does he live? In an apartment on Main Street. Now, what is question number one? Question number one, Oscar Arnulfo. How do you take many children? Uh huh. Children. Yeah, what is the question? But what is the question? How do you take many children? No, how, how many? How many? Children. Uh huh. How many children? They have. Do, do they have? Do they have, exactly. How many children do they have? Right? ¿Cuántos niños tienen ellos? How many children do they have? Very good. Francisco, number two. He speaks four languages. 
how many language how many languages does he speak does he speak very good how many languages does he speak excellent now uh, karen lopez let's see she lives with her roommate who, 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 who live with her no 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 no, no. who does she live uh -huh. she who? Live with? now the subject is she what is the auxiliary for she does who does then the subject who does she live with okay who does she live with she lives with her roommate teacher can i ask you something yes miss uh with the item number six um when uh, the question is um when you talk about uh, to a movie, do you refer to a movie a película or a movie theater? In why? No, when no, a, no, it could be. Well, when you well, movie theater is the uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. and movie is the film. Now, the only thing is people say, hey, let's go to the movies. But it's supposed to be to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Right? But movie is the film. The film. Es la película. And movie theater is the lugar donde se exhiben las películas. Entonces, la, la oración diría, ella no quiere ir a la película? No, pero ¿cuál? ¿En cuál? ¿En qué número? La número 6. Ah, la número 6. Ah, sí. she doesn't want to go sí, to a movie. Ajá, él no quiere, ella no quiere ir a, en este caso, a ver una película o no quiere ir al, al cine. Pero entonces she's sería very tired. de movie, no to a movie, porque uh, yeah, a she doesn't want to go to a movie. En este caso se está refiriendo al, al, a la localidad. No que no quiera ver una película. No, she doesn't want to go to a movie. In that case is a movie theater. O sea, o sea, ¿puedo escribir movie y de la misma forma para el film, una película? Sí. Como para referirme sí. al cine. El contexto, el contexto es el que le va a determinar si es el film o si es el, el lugar si es el cinema ok, I understand ok thank you okay. So much. very good, now number four, let's see Catherine, number four they mm -hmm. eat lunch in the cafeteria every day where Oh. No, because look, it's every day. The answer is every day. When? 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 Okay, when? now you can when? ask question with when or, or, wait, or how often? Okay. Okay, how often? Do they eat? Uh -huh. When or how often do they eat lunch? Do they eat lunch? In the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. Okay? In the cafeteria. Very good. No podría sí. llevar teacher, no podría llevar who? ¿Quiénes? Ellos. No, porque la respuesta es todos los días. Entonces, si yo digo who, ya no estoy preguntando 
que la respuesta sea every day. No sé si me explico. O sea, nosotros estamos, estamos tratando de, de hacer una pregunta que la respuesta sea la parte negrita. Entonces, cuando yo digo, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo comen ellos almuerzo en la cafetería? Todos los días. ¿Qué tan a menudo comen ellos almuerzo en la cafetería? Todos los días. Parece que Catherine tenía algo por ahí. Hola. Diga. Sí, gracias. Yo le había puesto, where do they eat lunch? ¿Dónde? <ríe> Ajá, pero si yo digo dónde, la respuesta sería en la cafetería. La cafetería pero no es la parte que está in bold, pero no es la parte que está en negrito. Uh -huh. Sí, si la, si la parte en negrito fuera la cafetería, uh -huh. entonces yo sí puedo hacer esa pregunta. Where? Uh -huh. Entiendo, entiendo, entiendo. Yeah. Sí, teacher. Ok, very good. Number five. Eh, Jacqueline. I go to bed at 11 every night. What time do What I time? go to bed? What time? Do. Do. I go to bed. Okay, now here I can say I or I can say you. Go to bed every night. What time do you go to bed or what time do I go to bed every night? Is that clear? Ahora, la, la, la mejor sería what time do you Because the answer is, I go to bed at 11. Okay? Bye. Siguiente. Because she's very tired. Cristina. If you insist, Cristina. <laughs> okay. Why does she want to go to a movie? Why? Now, now it's negative. Why doesn't, doesn't she want Want to, to go, go to a movie, okay? Why doesn't because, she want to go to a movie? Because she's very tired. Because she is very tired. Excellent. Very good, guys. Very good work. Jeannie, the answer is the eggs. What is the question? Um, what? Do they eat for breakfast? What do they eat for breakfast every day? Breakfast. For breakfast every day. Okay, very good, excellent. What do they eat for breakfast? breakfast. What do they eat for breakfast every day? Excellent. And the last one, the answer is a steak. So, Chil, what is the question? La respuesta es filete. Ellos comen filete para la cena. What, Maria, what is what? What does he, uh -huh. what does, he, what want. does he want? Still. For dinner. For dinner? Uh -huh. He wants a steak for dinner. Excellent. Very good, guys. Now, which verbs are correct? She agrees. Is that correct? Yes. 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 She annoys. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. She cries. Is that correct? Yes. yes. She hurries. Is that correct? Not. No. No. What is correct is she hurries. Uh huh. Okay, but not. Okay, now she kisses. Is that correct? 
No. No. What is correct is A. she kisses with E. E. She rushes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. She teach. Is that correct? No. No. We need that E. She were no. she teaches. And she worries. Is that correct? No. no. It should be she worries. Right? Okay. Now, very good, guys. Excellent work. Now, uh, uh, questions about vocabulary. Preguntas. Rushes. Rushes es si apura, apurarse. Rush es apurarse. So she yes, rushes. Ella se apura. She annoys. Annoys es se molesta. She annoys. Rushes es como hurries. Sí, so pero hurries es como más apurado. Y rushes es menos, pero igual de apurarse. And what about worries? What is the meaning? What is worries? Ah, preocupa. Ella se preocupa. She worries. Okay. Remember, don't worry. Be happy. I got it. You got it? More questions? Yeah. No questions. Okay, so we're going to forget. For today, we're going to forget about this document. And we're going to go to the one that I sent you today. We're going to go to, let me put this away. Uh, no matter, okay? So go to this document that I sent you today, the one that you can see on the screen. Can you see it? Let me make it a little bigger for you. Okay, let me see. And this time, rich. Okay, maybe we make it a little, a little bigger. Okay, question words, double H question. Change the following sentences to questions beginning with the given question word. So they live in Brooklyn. Let's see. Okay, Mario, what is the question? Where does, where does, does living in Brooklyn? No, where? No. What is the subject? What is the subject? They. What is the auxiliary for they? Where, where do where do they live? They live. Where do they live? Right. Where do they live? They live in Brooklyn. So remember, you have to look for the subject. And, be, and based on the subject, you are going to select the correct auxiliary. In this case, the correct auxiliary for day is do. Now, the lesson begins at eight o'clock. What is the question, Enrique? What time does begin the lesson? No, what time does, does the lesson? Remember, after the auxiliary, the subject. What time does the lesson begin? Okay, what time does the lesson begin? Okay, very good. Delia, they get home at six o'clock every night. What is the question? What time do they get home every night? What time do they get home every day? Every night, right? Right. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, who is this? Who is Resinsa? Is that is that Sochi? <laughs> okay, no, no problem. Don't worry. Lo que pasa es que hay veces que no me acuerdo. Okay, what? Okay, so you, she speaks French very well. What? 
What do you What is the subject? Friend? What is the subject? What she. does she? Ah, okay. What does she speak French? No. What does she speak? Very well. Very well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that is French. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Delia. The book yes. costs one dollar. How much does? No, the books. Those books. Es singular or es plural? Plural. Uh -huh. If it is plural, the pronoun will be no. they, 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 right? What is the auxiliary uh, for they? Do. Do. How much? How much? Do those books cost? Exactly. How much do those books cost? And you have to analyze the subject, okay? In this case, okay. es or libros, they. So the auxiliary is do. Very good. The next one, Bessie. How do they travel? I'm sorry? Hello, Bessie. They travel by car. How do they travel? How do they travel? Very good. Excellent. Good work. Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Jeannie. She wants to learn English because she wants Why? a better job. Why? Why does? Why does? She wants. She wants. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Jeannie, Jeannie, why, why does? does? She wants. She wants. And remember, why does she, yeah. when I use the auxiliary, yeah. look at the verb. No S. Why does she want to learn English? To learn to English. Learn that English. is correct. To learn English. Why does she want to learn English? Very good. Excellent work. Because she what? wants a better job. Because she wants a better, better job. Francisco, the next one. Francisco, Francisco, are you there? Where do they meet on the corner every morning? No, where do they meet? On the corner. No, no puedo decir on the corner, porque ahí es, eso es lo que está preguntando. Every morning, every morning. Ajá, uh -huh. where do they every meet? Morning. Every morning. morning. On the corner. ¿A dónde se reúnen todas las mañanas? in the corner okay very good uh, Karen what uh, what does she what does she teaches no not teaches teach us only teach because the auxiliary has the inflection. So when I have this auxiliary, the main verb goes on its base form. What does she teach us? What does she teach us? ¿Qué nos enseña a nosotros? She teaches us grammar. Okay, very good. The next one, Catherine. Uh, when does he get up every morning? When does he get up every morning? Okay. Okay. Bye. Voy a hacer una aclaración. Yo, en este caso, hubiera puesto como at seven... Quizás hubiera sido mejor la pregunta, what time? Y la vamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Para que suene mejor. 
what time? Porque esa pregunta, hora. Y si usted ve, la respuesta es hora. What time does he get up every morning? At seven. Okay. Eh, by volunteer for the last one. Todos juntos. What? 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 Okay. What do those girls say? What do What do those girls say? Newspaper. Sell there. Okay. What do they say? Ajá. ¿Qué esas niñas venden allí? Newspaper. ¿Ok? Bien. Okay. Mañana vamos a continuar con el resto del documento. El que quiera ir trabajando sobre él, excellent. Ok, now I'm going to go back to the book. Ok. Uh, let me get back to the book. Ok. Now, here. Okay. Create questions based on the answers. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So what is the question? What, what do, you do? do you do every Friday? Every Friday. Okay, what? What okay. do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you Right. Espérame, quiero ver que se me hizo el voladito. Ah, aquí está. Ok, I'm going to put this over here. Ok, so here we go. What? What do you? Do you? Write? What do you write every Friday? Okay. Ese es un tipo de pregunta. Okay, now okay. you see that is one. Now the same one. Look, uh, when when do you write report about production about the production? And the answer is every Friday, right? Now, yeah. another one. Okay, yeah. another one. Another question. Ah, here. What do you have to write? What do you have to write? When do you have to write? Okay. Okay. Now, another question is what... Oh, that is the same one. Okay? Very good. Now, next question. Let's see. How do you work? I do work you work? in the blue building. What is the question? Where do you work? Where do you work? Hey, where do you work? Very good. You're excellent. Where do you work? I work in the blue building. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What is the question? What time? What time? What time? Does, does Maria, Maria start working? Does Maria and I, remember what time does Maria and I start working? Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. Okay. Is now, that teacher? Huh? Ah, ah, what that time that do you? I'm sorry, you are right. right. What time do Maria and I? And I. Uh -huh. What time? Because Maria and I se convierte en we. Mm -hmm. Nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, the auxiliary is do. Do. 
Excellent. Very good. The next one. We design and others create the new products. The new product, the answer. The new products. No. Uh-huh. What? 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 What do we design? What do we design and others create? And others create. Okay, very good. Now, you may ask the question, who designs and creates? New products, the new products is also a good way to ask the question. We design and others create the new products. Okay. And number five, they have a meeting because, okay, let's publish this. Okay, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and the outflows. Inflows son los ingresos and the outflows son los egresos. Why? 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 Okay, very good. Very good. Why? Do they? Why do... Why do they have a meeting? Have a meeting Why do they have a meeting? Bueno, okay. Lo vamos a dejar ahí and let me see. Why do they have a meetings? Because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay, very good. So that's it. Okay, create questions with double H words. Esto se lo voy a dejar de tarea. Crear preguntas con double H words provided below. Vaya, me van a hacer una pregunta con cada question word. For example, what do you do at work every day? What reports do you have to write? What does your company sell? Right? When, when do you start working? When do you finish working? When, when does your boss, no, when is, when does the meeting start? Or when does the meeting take place? Where? Where does your boss have the meetings? Where do you send letters? Where do you fix the problems? Whatever. Why and who? Is that clear? One question, one simple question. Remember. That question is going to help us to work in, in pairs tomorrow. Okay? Vaya, antes de que se me olvide, ya que está Ramón aquí, Ramón, voy a dejar de... de vaya, Ramón, ¿dónde está Ramón? Ramón, se nos fue Ramón. Bueno, acuérdense... Tenemos que trabajar, los que todavía no han hecho el midterm, trabajen en el midterm. Los demás, les voy a compartir. Los demás, tenemos que trabajar. Esto ya lo voy a... Ok, los demás tienen que trabajar en la... Los demás tienen que trabajar en la plataforma. Los que tienen que trabajar en midterm, haga primero el midterm. Termine lo que sea al 100%. ¿Verdad? 
¿Ok? Y los demás hay que trabajar en la tarea 3. ¿Cuál es la tarea 3? Me voy a regresar. Ya les dije quiénes faltan de terminar el midterm, así que termínelo. Me voy a ir a la semana 3. Y en la semana 3 yo ya puedo comenzar a hacer la tarea número 11. Ok, si usted ve videoconferencia 11, también tiene su tarea. Ok, tarea número 11. Y mire, es de exactamente de lo que hemos practicado hoy, que para usted va a ser un pedazo de pastel. Cinco preguntas sencillitas. Esto en un minuto lo va a terminar. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Entonces, haga la tarea de ahora. Si quiere, puede hacer la de mañana, porque la de mañana es la tarea 12 y también es acerca de lo mismo, mire. Solo que, que hay que hacer igual como la estuvimos haciendo ahora. ¿Ok? Así que ya puede adelantar si usted quiere en la tarea 11 y en la tarea 12. Yo le recomiendo, solo haga la 11. Acuérdense que mañana vamos a seguir practicando Double H Questions. ¿Ok? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Hola, hola. No, no question. No, no question. Vaya, lo voy a dejar ir a descansar para que trabajen. Los que tienen que terminar el examen, termínenlo. Los demás, solo les pido trabajen sobre la tarea 11. Work on homework 11. Five simple questions. If I were you, si yo fuera usted, ahorita las haría ya. Y que tengo todo fresquecito. Y ya mire, mañana ya no tengo que preocuparme. ¿De acuerdo? Este día, ¿quién yeah. es? Ah, perdón, este día va, déjeme ver, déjeme ver, ahorita le, le digo, este día va, ta, 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 ta. uy, ¿dónde lo tengo? Quiero ver, ok, este día va, Sería martes, vea, no sería del día lunes. No, día sería día. del día lunes. Sería del día lunes. Sería 15, sería Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. ¿Ok? Se queda conmigo. Los demás, have a wonderful night, everyone. See you and have a good night, ¿ok? Have Se queda night. Catherine Thank conmigo. You. Thank you. ¿Ok? Bye-bye. Catherine, only 10 minutes. So, and you're going to be sleeping. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. And rest. Rest. Bye. Do your homework. And if you owe me the midterm, do the midterm, please. Okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, take care. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, uh, Catherine, what do you want me to talk to you about or what is something that bothers you or something that you want clarification about? Mm, in this moment, teacher, eh, everything is clear. It's clear, uh-huh. Now. About the simple present, the rules, the third person. In this moment, lo tengo claro, teacher. Okay, what about, uh, probably you want to know something about INSAFOR, maybe you want to know something about Inglés Corporativo, maybe you want to know something about the platform. So this is the time that we can discuss those, uh, those things. Yeah, if you have an inquiry. Okay, look in. Me quedaba como la duda si las calificaciones van a salir únicamente de las actividades que estamos haciendo, las que usted nos ha mandado a hacer. En, en la plataforma. Ok, todo. Es solamente eh, de ahí va a salir. Sí, solamente de ahí. Todos estos ejercicios extra que nosotros hacemos, que yo les mando, todos esos documentos son nada más ejercicios para hacer. Pero prácticamente todo. 
las tareas eh, y los exámenes vienen de la plataforma. Ahora, la plataforma es amigable porque usted se puede equivocar, corregir y la plataforma se lo admite. No quiere decir que si usted se equivocó y quiera corregir, ya la plataforma no la va a dejar corregir. Quiere decir que ya la va a tener mala. No. En ese sentido, usted puede corregir y este, siempre va a obtener la máxima nota. Lo que sí es importante con la plataforma es que siempre yo debo de comenzar con capital letters. ¿verdad? An end with a period or a question mark. Y si yo le pongo un espacio de más entre palabra y palabra, la plataforma sí no me va a reconocer como bueno. ¿verdad? Y eh, otra cosa es el apóstrofe. Entonces yo le sugiero que copien el apóstrofe de la pregunta, copien ese apóstrofe para pegarlo también en la respuesta. Porque ese, en el caso de mi computadora, sí toma, en mi, en mi apóstrofe lo toma como bueno. Eh, obviamente, mi computadora está hecha para American, American people. Entonces, sí. por eso que sí el apóstrofe pega. Así que tienen que tener cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Lo otro, teacher, es, ¿cómo se llama? Saber cómo, en cuánto iré de la asistencia, porque yo sí me he conectado unos minutos tarde. Y hubo una vez que sí me tardé media hora porque eh, me daba problema la plataforma. Ay, eso sí se lo puedo compartir, lo vamos a ver ahorita. ¿Ok? Eh... Vale, eh, aquí está el control de asistencia. Si usted ve, vamos a buscar a Catherine. Y aquí yo le voy a ir a vale, Catherine. Vale, si usted ve, eh, vale, estas son sus notas. Mire, hasta ahorita va bien. Solo tiene que entregar la tarea número 3, que la vamos a ir haciendo día a día. Vale, Catherine, si usted ve, se conectó el primer día. 120 minutos. El segundo día, el segundo día hizo 117 minutos. El tercer día hizo 107 minutos. Aquí ya perdió 10 minutos. En la siguiente vez se conectó y perdió 18 minutos. Ya lleva perdido 28 minutos. La siguiente vez se perdió 9 minutos. Ya lleva 37. 37 minutos. Vale, de ahí en la siguiente, 120 completo, 120 completo, 112, perdió 38, ya lleva 47. Ok, hasta aquí. La siguiente vez, 94 minutos, aquí perdió 26. 42 más 26, ya lleva 58 minutos. Vale. Aquí perdió nueve minutos, ya lleva 67, ya perdió una hora. ¿Sí? Una hora, 60 minutos. Va, y de ahí eh, vamos a comenzar el día de ahora, con el martes 16. ¿De acuerdo? Que sí, no, sé, sí. hay, no sé cuántos minutos hizo ahora, hoy no sé a qué hora se conectó. Creo ¿Sí? que, mmm, no sé si cuatro minutos tarde. Vaya, pero... Esos cuatro minutos no le van a ser eh, gran obstáculo. O sea, acuérdese que ahorita vamos cabal. Hoy comenzamos la segunda parte. O sea, que fuera, fuera de la clase de ahora, vamos a la mitad. Quiere decir que usted puede perder ocho horas. Hasta ahorita ha perdido menos de dos. ¿verdad? Entonces, manténgase así. O sea, si se mete un poquito tarde, pierde cinco minutos, no hay ningún problema. ¿verdad? Ahora, el problema va a ser que falte uno o dos días más. ¿verdad? Porque ahí ya se le vuelven cuatro horas y así ya va a estar bien cerquita del mar. ¿Ok? Sí. Como le digo, lastimosamente, Insafor no quiere saber de días. Porque si fueran días, el 80% de... de de 40 horas, perdón, el 20% de 40 horas serían 8 horas. 
Pero ellos lo quieren ver esas ocho horas en minutos, no en días faltados. Esas ocho horas, como las clases son de cuatro, de dos horas, significan cuatro días que yo puedo faltar completamente. Pero si yo falto cuatro días completamente, me estoy arriesgando a que yo tengo que estar 120 minutos siempre. Y ahí sí está arriesgado. ¿no? ¿Ok? Sí, así es. Así sí, que sí. trate de que si no puede faltar, no falte. Además que usted ve que prácticamente toda la clase es práctica. ¿Va? Así que sí. si usted puede, ahora hay emergencias, Catherine. Entonces, si hay una emergencia, ok, sí, este, eh, atienda su emergencia. Pero si solo porque, ah, ya llevo la asistencia completa, no, no, conéctese que vamos a practicar. La práctica es para ustedes. Yo todo esto que planifico es para ustedes, ¿da? para que eh, aprendan más, para que sea interesante. No sé cómo ven la clase. La verdad que me parece muy bueno porque eh, creo que usted ha logrado medir al, al grupo que tiene cierto nivel y por eso usted trata de hacer una combinación entre lo que le pide Insafor y ese valor agregado que usted le da al curso. No, pero ese valor de agregado se lo doy por ustedes, porque ustedes son pilas, de veras, todos, creo que sí. casi todos se ponen las pilas, porque he tenido grupos en que he tenido que ir bien lento, o sea, las guías, esta guía, una guía de desarrollo de la semana, con ustedes se van dos o tres, porque se ponen las pilas, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo los felicito, ¿verdad? Y, y, y créame que quisiera de que todos aprendieran, pues, ¿verdad? Así que, eh, que no les dé pereza, que no les dé desánimo, eh, sigan adelante, sigan el siguiente. Yo sé que es un sacrificio, pero si voy a hacer un sacrificio, que valga la pena el sacrificio. Y oiga bien, cuando le digo que valga la pena, es que usted consiga mejores ingresos porque aprendió una herramienta más y que le valga, que tenga un significado, que tenga un valor agregado eh, financiero también. ¿no? Sí, teacher, así es. La verdad que sí me parece la metodología y como usted dice, prácticamente la clase es pura práctica. Así, y es mejor para nosotros porque si aprendemos teoría, vocabulario, eh, la gramática, ya con los ejercicios pues se nos va quedando mucho más. Así que a mí sí me parece. No, sí, yo los veo, bien. yo los veo cómo asimilan. Si miren, a, a, hay, hay personas que les hago la pregunta y se tardan medio minuto pensando qué es, ¿no? Con ustedes rapidito, va Rápido se ubican, va ah, este es el auxiliar y de veras. Yo me siento muy, muy contento con el grupo. Hay, obviamente hay algunos que saben un poquito más. Hay, eh, como todo aprendizaje, eh, algunos aprenden más rápido y otros aprenden más lento. ¿va? Pero el grupo está bien homogéneo. ¿okay? Así que yo los felicito a todos y los animo que sigan adelante y que, le, que valga la pena este sacrificio. ¿Ok? Así es, teacher. Bueno, entonces, eso. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Ok, ya sabe, estoy para servirle, ¿ok? Bueno, teacher, buenas okay. noches, cuídense. Ok, have a good night and rest, please. Ok, bye bye.